Now, what if for same element, for the same rectangular element that we solved earlier, we're going to find a single equivalent force along the x direction th that would produce the same deformation in y as your original loading. So, <coughs> in this uh, follow-up problem, <coughs> we're going to find this uh, force x, meaning you're only um, you're only acting at single direction. It's a uniaxial um, force which is on the x direction that would produce the same deformation in the y direction as this original loading so what would be that force be first uh, we're going to find how much is the deformation of y and is it compression or is it tension so it, uh, it basically uh, guides us whether we will uh, have a compression or tensile force here along the x direction depending on the uh, the direction of the deformation the y axis so first uh, we're going to solve for your deformation in your y and your strain in your y so you have for a triaxial deformation again you have um, strain y which is equal to 1 over e this is uh, stress y minus um, <coughs> uh, v you have stress x plus stress z and uh, we've solved earlier <coughs> these uh, <coughs> values of stresses so you just uh, substitute this is 1 over e it's just uh, the e again is uh, you forgot 29 times 10 to the <coughs> 6 psi or this could be 29 times 10 to the 3 ksi so you have 1 over 29 times 10 to the 3 that's KSI stress Y is negative 5 minus 0 0.3 the V here is again if you can recall with our uh, computations earlier then you have the stress X is positive 6 plus positive 9 so we have the strain Y uh, it's a negative 5 minus 0.3 times 6 plus 9 divided by 29 times 10 to the 3 that's a negative 3 point 27 6 times 10 to the negative 4 therefore means the negative sign means your deformation in the y direction is compression so it's shortening therefore you need to provide a tensile force along the x direction so if you can imagine you need to stretch in this direction so that your length in the y direction will be lengthened I don't know will be shortened by 3.276 times 10 to the negative 4 strain not actually the the length no this is not actually the length because the length is uh, the change in length the change in length no? and uh, strain y is just uh, change in length y over l but this is the amount of um, the ratio of your change in length over the original length but uh, we are concerned here with the direction so we're going to add a tensile force here just to stretch in this x direction so that your uh, y direction will be compressed by um, a particular value you know, which is a uh, you can have based on this uh, because um, you know that strain is just the delta r over l you know. so this is the change in length which is a uh, negative so shortening so we now have um, this one so how do we get the um, force x since uh, it's only a, s a single equivalent force meaning um, it's a uniaxial force. We'll have the Poisson's ratio for a single axis. We have V equals, since we're dealing with the uh, x direction, we have negative strain Y over strain X. So we have Y and X. We know that Y is uh, given, which is uh, negative 3.276 times set to negative 4. So we computed that. St uh, strain X, which is... Uh, unknown and but we know that uh, 
based on um, Hooke's law, you have stress x over e. See, it comes from just comes from your stress is uh, proportional to your strain, and then your e here is your modulus of elasticity or the proportionality constant. So you can have v. You have stress x. You can have uh, v is 0.3. A stress x, a strain x is this one, stress x divided by E. Here you have a negative 3.276 times 10 to the negative 4. So that's negative of negative. Negative of negative. You see? Negative of negative. So you'll have stress x equals. So, times uh, 29 times 10 to the 3, or we can use 6 or 3, doesn't matter, but by 0.3, you will have 31.67, but since it's positive now, we have 31.67 KSI, and since we're going to compute for the force, can have the force as uh, equals stress x times the area uh, y z or z y 31.67 kips per inch squared times your area which is uh, 4 times 2 4 times 2 inches squared cancel you will have px equals times 8 so times 8 equals or we have 253 kips never mind the negative sign we already resolved that here it's a negative negative I, I did not change the sign but you know that it's a negative negative so it's a positive positive and then you have the 253 kips as a force or the uni dimensional or uni axial force that will still produce the same deformation in the y as your original loading so that's how you work with the uh, equations now so again mind you um equations have used our combination of the stresses then you have the actual, then you have the uniaxial um, equation using the Poisson's ratio. Uh, Poisson's ratio of um, transverse divided by longitudinal strain. Sidewise or transverse, and then you have the longitudinal strain. So that's it. So you can also have um, equivalent force, for example, along the z direction, so that you can produce the same amount of deformation on the x. So whatever works. You can try solving for those um, um, questions. What if? What if? What if we're going to find this one and then that one? So just work around on the equations, and then you'll manage. Uh, just uh, solve more problems, and you will uh, be acquainted with uh, these um, equations.